This is a AM transmitter that I put up a few years ago and it works very well and I still use it today. But I got curious about that coil, that PC70 oscillator coil. I was wondering what the availability was of that coil. And uh, it doesn't look like Antique Electronic Supply sells those anymore. So I went on eBay and I found at one place it was selling for $58. Well, I thought this was a little high, so I thought I would redo this and come up with another circuit where you wind your own coil. And this is what I have so far. Now what's in red is not in the circuit yet. I plan to add that later. But I've got the oscillator working and we'll get to that in a little bit. Now how this works is if you take a look at those two 10K resistors that are in series between positive 12 and ground, that supplies the bias voltage on the gate of that MOSFET, making that MOSFET conduct. And when it conducts, it's going through 80 turns of that coil to the positive side of the power supply, and it's uh, making a magnetic field, and it's inducing a current in that 20 turns. And what comes out of that 20 turns is positive feedback to the oscillator. Anytime you have an oscillator, you have to have positive feedback, and what that means is what's coming out of that 20 turns is if the voltage is increasing through the coil, the voltage that's coming out of that 20 turns is adding to or making that MOSFET conduct more. In other words, positive feedback. And just the opposite, if it was going in the other direction, what's coming out of that coil would help that MOSFET go in the other direction or go towards zero. So it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But that lead that's out of that 20 turns is always positive feedback. Here's the build. You can see there's not a whole lot to it. Just a MOSFET, a few resistors, a capacitor, a variable capacitor, and a coil. Here's a closer look at the components. And here is the coil. A very simple coil, 100 turns total. And we've got 20 here at the bottom and then 80. And it's, of course, tapped at the 20 turn part. And this container is from prescription and uh, it is one and a quarter inches in diameter. So something easy to get. Let's take a look at how this works. Here's the Build down there, of course, and the homemade coil. And I've got a little AM receiver here that I'm going to turn on. And I previously had it tuned to where this is transmitting. And I'm going to turn on power. 
and you can clearly see that we've got a carrier although I don't uh, like that sine wave or almost sine wave <laughs> very much I'm going to see if I can't uh, clean that up but this is a good start let me turn that off again and back on because just getting it to oscillate is a challenge and also to get it in the band you want is also a challenge so uh, we've got it in the band I need to clean up the uh, waveform and then we'll add in the audio circuit and do some more testing so this is right at the beginning of this circuit got a, obviously more work to do but this is uh, pretty steady for an open coil so that's that that part pleases me quite a lot so it you know it's not changing frequency bringing your hand close to that so we got a good start here and we will continue with this project because again I think uh, about 58 bucks for a coil is just a little high. Thanks for watching.